I thought I'd I thought I'd just show this very quickly. So these, when I, after I put the um, the oxalic treatment into the hive, which is over here, the the mites will die and fall off the bees and drop to the bottom of the hive um, on the base. And what you do then is you put a board at the bottom, just like so. I've got this plastic board. Um, forget about the round thing for the second. And the bees, uh, you spray this with Pam or cooking spray, and, and the mites stick to to the baseboard and they they die. Okay. Um, uh, and and you you can clean it off. What I do then, I, I like to count the, the mites just to see how I'm doing. So what I did is I took this old pizza cardboard um, and cut five by five centimeter um, uh, height and width holes in it, and then I know how many total centimeters uh, the whole board is. So then I just uh, and then and what I do is I, I count the number of mites that are that have dropped. Um, beneath each of those five squares, I know what the total area of the of the, um, the the board is, and then I just extrapolate up, and I know what the, the total mite count is based on my sample. Okay, um, and then I track that every couple of days. So what I'll do, I'll come back tomorrow, maybe tonight, and I'll see um, what the mite count is in this hive. I've actually done quite a lot of mite treatment already, but um, I'm hoping for one last blast with this this oxalic acid uh, treatment. Uh, this is the board from my other hive, and you can't really see well at all, but you can see those little tiny black um, specks on top of the board. Not the white. The white is, is from paper towel that I put the formic acid onto, my previous treatment. You see those little black flecks? I'll maybe zoom in a little bit. Ah, well, good. Those are all the mites, okay? So you can see they're scattered all over the, all over the board. And then what I do is um, I, I just count them with my, my little sample thing here. So I'll count the mites in each zone. Just go, there's one, two, and then one, two, maybe. There's another couple, and then there's uh, maybe six or eight in there, and there's one in there. So then I'll add that up and then multiply it by about ten, and that gives me the total mite count for the, for the, the, the dead mite count for, the, for that period. Okay. I thought I would do this uh, video. This is um, an oxalic acid vaporization treatment for honeybee hives to, to kill mites. Um, I've just bought this new uh, JB200 vaporizer from uh, Highlizer in uh, Sydney, British Columbia. They're on Vancouver Island. They're, they're, they're just um, a ferry ride away from me, actually, here in West Vancouver. So I just wanted to do this because I found they, uh, they supplied a nice unit, but the cable didn't come supplied and uh, and I had to build one for myself to hook it up to this battery so what I got was I'll take everybody through this here's the unit in my hand I'll just lay it here on top of the oxalic acid so there's a, a, a little um, holding area vessel whatever you call it hollowed out on the end and, and the, the, the wiring um, heats up this little little chamber let's call it put the acid in the chamber the 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 acid vaporizes uh, well it converts from powder to liquid to, to vapor very quickly I'll do a little video of that um, and then and you, you literally just stick that inside the hive and the vapor um, comes up and, and uh, kills all the mites <laughs> what I had to buy were these two things the yellow things they're um, they're blade or spade connector I, I would call them a blade connector um, uh, myself um, there, you, you just buy them. I bought them at a, at a home, uh, home uh, equipment store, like a like a Home Depot. You buy them. Um, you uh, then clamp um, the ends of them onto some speaker wire, and you can see it's all running down there. Um, just, just you know, good, good, solid speaker wire. Nothing fancy. Um, uh, just clean the ends off the, um, or strip the ends off the wire. Um, put the uh, put the blade connectors on the end, crimp them down with a little crimper tool I've got, and then I bought over here on the battery. I bought those two um, large um, uh, charger clips or alligator type clips that just um, clamp onto the battery. It's a 12 volt battery, and there's no fear of electric electrocution. By the way, 12 volts with uh, with the number of amps coming through is not going to be deadly. Might be a little spark. 
as you touch them with your hands. So 12 volts of, um, of, uh, of uh, juice, I guess, make their way through into the... Uh, and this it draws maybe 3, 4 amps, what the manufacturer tells me. And, uh, and uh, what I did as well is I, I built this little switch. So I, I bought, and there goes my um, a vaporizer. I bought that switch and just installed it on the middle of the speaker wire. It's uh, just a lamp cord switch, a couple bucks. Okay. So the way this works is you take the vaporizer, and then let me get this set properly. There's the oxalic acid. That comes, um, I bought that in Vancouver at a, at a chemical shop. It was about 10 bucks for a half a kilo or about a pound. And you just take, this This comes with the uh, the vaporizer. You just take two spoons, two scoops. That'll be um, two uh, two grams, which is a, a good amount. You can go one to three, it just depends. The higher up um, tends to kill more mites, but not uh, not that many more. So I think it's 99% of the mites get killed with three grams and 97.2 with two. So I'm going to go with two and just, because just, uh, I don't have that many bees in my hive anymore at the end of the year. Um, I'm going to put uh, just a, yeah, I'm going to pull a lot of that out. I'm going to run this just to, to show you what, what the vaporization looks like in, in air. Right, I'm gonna. I'll hold that in my hand because uh, hold this in my hand because I don't want to put it on plastic, obviously. So let me just uh, turn on the switch. I'll leave that here just for the for the moment. I'll flip the switch and then quickly pick this up. I'm gonna hold that way back, and you'll see it start to heat up and vaporize um, quite quite quickly. Yeah, this happens very, very fast. I might cut out... Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay, you can see the vapor. So inside, I'll go up here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's liquidizing, liquefying, and vaporizing. And I'll get down below downwind here. And for the entire um, gram to be burned off, I did it once before. It took like about a minute. And... Uh, and there's a bit of liquid residual in the bottom. You gotta wait for that to, to um, burn off as well. So what I'm gonna do is, is turn it on. I put this in the hive, turn it off for about one minute, and um, and then pull it out, okay? And uh, and that's it. So I'll, I'll start the video up again when I put it in the hive. You can see it uh, uh, finishing off there, so there's just a little bit left. That's it. Okay, so there it is. I've got it all hooked up. I'm just going to slide it into the hive, and I'm going to put a towel on top. The bees do not like this, by the way. So that's why you got to cover this up. Don't let the bees out. Okay, so that's nice and tight, and then I'll flip on the switch. There it goes. And then uh, I know it'll be done in like a minute. So I'll just let it sit, and I'll come back when it's, when it's over. Yeah, definitely working. You can see the vapors coming out where I haven't really captured or cut, cut did the hole strong enough. So I'll just fix that up. And uh, I think it's pretty well done. So I'm going to take it out and then I'll let that um, towel cover up the hole for about you know, 10 minutes.